In other news on Monday, PNC told you about abandoned sewer lines that were installed many years ago but never hooked up by the Guam Waterworks Authority. There's been discussion that putting them online could help alleviate a moratorium on new development in central Guam. So we wanted to know your reaction on the issue of abandoned sewer lines and here's what you had to say. But considering if there were actually pipes put in and never used, what, what's the use of uh, having them in? And I guess someone, uh, as far as the administration goes, uh, screwed up. <laughs> as I know that all the uh, sewer lines are connected to the pump, pumping station and the sewer, uh, the sewer are being processed. I don't know why uh, they install a sewer line and they didn't connect it to a pumping station where they can dispose the sewage uh, on the right place. It, it's kind of odd that they would have had a development that they did 10 years ago that never got hooked up to anything, but I think that uh, probably it's time to hook them up and lift their moratorium and and uh, develop the property. I think it's, uh, it's a bad thing to come out and tell us three years after you've already known about this. And uh, People at Guam need to know what's going on in the government because they're very, very curious. And when we find out through the media, instead of them telling us directly, it's very, very sad. Well, that seems pretty dumb. <laughs> uh, I mean, the sewer lines, we should hook them up and use them, and then we don't have to have a moratorium, and then our economy can grow, and that's better. I lived in Tumon for like 14 years. Never had problems, but it's just that if that could have made it better, then, you know, actually would have helped out the island, I'm thinking. Yeah. But other than that, not too much. I just didn't know. It surprised me, that's all.